Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Jaden Sancho's camp think his move to Man United is a done deal. In Dortmund, they think it could happen next week. The Athletic sense a deal should get done for Jaden Sancho. I think the deal is now largely down to bonuses because Dortmund are demanding add-ons. Sky Sports said earlier on today that Man United and Borussia Dortmund are around 11 million apart in Jaden Sancho's valuation. Fabrizio Romano said recently that Man United reached an agreement with Jaden Sancho's camp. The personal terms have been agreed and Man United have offered Sancho a five-year contract worth around £350,000 a week. We had an opening offer of £67 million rejected for Sancho. Dortmund are demanding around £78 million plus add-ons. Borussia Dortmund have set a Jadon Sancho transfer deadline. They came out and said that Sancho will remain at Borussia Dortmund if we've not reached Borussia Dortmund's valuation by the end of July. Jadon Sancho already has a gentleman's agreement with Borussia Dortmund to join Manchester United. I think this time around we're going to get Sancho. We've been in for Sancho now for like the last two years or so, so it has been a long running transfer saga. We was extremely close to getting Sancho last summer because the personal terms had been agreed, the agent fees had been agreed, and the contracts and that had been agreed. The reason we didn't get him last summer is because Borussia Dortmund wanted £108 million. We was reluctant to meet that valuation. We was only willing to pay so much up front. But obviously Dortmund have lowered their asking price from last summer. Dortmund set a deadline last year they said we had until the 10th of August to sign the player. We missed out on that deadline, so he remained at Dortmund. Sancho has endured four years at Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund paid just £7 million for him from Man City and he's under contract with Dortmund until 2023. There's always been summer in Jadon Sancho to Manchester United because it has been stemming from reliable journalists. You know, Fabrizio Romano spoken a hell of a lot about the Sancho saga and so too was Christian Fark from Build. But he'll be a great signing for us. You know, Sancho will assure us goals. He's very good at creating chances. He's predominantly a right winner. He's still young. He's got a lot of development in him. He will exceed expectations in the Premier League and he's got a very, very good friendship with Marcus Rashford. They do touch base with each other a lot. Dortmund have obviously been looking for replacements for Sancho. But earlier on this year, Borussia Dortmund told Jadon Sancho that he can leave the club and 
then Solskjaer made him a transfer priority. If we fail to sign Sancho, then we are looking at looking at Kinsley Coman from Bayern Munich as an alternative. Now, where will Harry Kane be playing next season? Harry Kane has made it clear that he wants to leave Tottenham. Last month, Harry Kane put in a transfer request at Tottenham. It's going to take an offer of, a, of around £150 million to convince Tottenham to offload him. Last month, Man United, Man City and Chelsea all touched base with his representatives. Last month, Ryan Mason dismissed suggestions that Harry Kane asked to leave. Now, last month, it said that Man United were prepared to double Harry Kane's wages to around £400,000 a week. And he said we would pay an £18 million signing on fee to compensate any loss of his earnings on his Tottenham contract. And it also mentioned that we'd offer £200 million for Kane plus the captaincy. Daniel Levy, who is the Tottenham chairman, he not so long ago slapped a £200 million asking price on Kane. Daniel Levy obviously doesn't want Tottenham to sell Harry Kane and was it last month he was furious with Harry Kane for going public with his desire to leave because Harry Kane got interviewed by Gary Neville regarding his future. Kane has said that he wants to win team trophies. Harry Harry Kane hasn't won a trophy at Tottenham, has he? Tottenham haven't won a trophy for like 13 years now. Kane is under contract with Tottenham until 2024 because back in 2018 he signed a six-year contract worth £200,000 a week. Kane's been a long-serving player at Tottenham. He's been with them for 17 years. Been in their senior squad since 2009 and he risen up their academy. Kane won the Golden Boot last season. I think he's won the Golden Boot now three times. Kane is regarded as one of the best strikers in the world. Um, he has had loan spells before with Leighton Orient, Moorwall, Norwich and Leicester. Man United do need a striker. You know, Solskjaer recently insisted that we are in this summer transfer market for a striker. I've been keeping you up to date of what's been going on regarding Kieran Trippier from Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid will only sell Kieran Trippier if his £35 million release clause is met. Football Insider said Man United had an opening offer of £10 million rejected for Kieran Trippier. The Athletic said not so long ago that Man United begun negotiations with Atletico Madrid to get Kieran Trippier. Kieran Trippier has been house hunting, so that's fueled speculation. Kieran Trippier also told his England teammates that he wants to join Man United. Uh, Solskjaer is unhappy with Anwan Bissaka's attacking output, so this is why he wants to recommend Kieran Trippier in. We was in for him in the January transfer window, but we cooled our interest because he got banned by FIFA for eight weeks for breaching betting rules. Didn't he? Everton have been interested in him, and so too have Arsenal. There's been talks of a Kieran Trippier and Hector Bellerin swap deal. He won the La Liga of Atletico Madrid last season. He's been there a couple of years now. Atletico Madrid paid £20 million for him from Tottenham and his current contract at Atletico expires next year. 
Raphael Varane. There's a chance Man United will sign him in this summer transfer window. Raphael Varane is refusing a contract at Real Madrid. Uh, Fabrizio Romano mentioned that not so long ago. And Man United have offered Raphael Varane a salary that Real Madrid cannot match. We've offered him €12 million Euros a year, which equates to just over £10 million in pounds sterling. Mundo Deportivo said that Real Madrid have lowered their asking price for Rafael Varane. It's around £43 million, but now apparently Real Madrid will sell Varane for £52 million. Pounds. Um, at one point, Real Madrid were demanding £60 million. Pounds. Not so long ago, they rejected a £40 million pound bid. I can assure that Varane is leaving Real Madrid. His contract talks at Real Madrid stalled a while ago. His current contract expires next year. But he does want to make a move to the Premier League. Not so long ago, Varane spoke out on his future. He said it's unlikely his future will be resolved for the summer's European Championships. Man United and that have held talks with Varane's representatives. Romano said towards the end of last season that Varane was the was the main name on our list and we was waiting to see what happened with his situation at Real Madrid. There you go. We went in for Varane 10 years ago under... Ferguson didn't get him and was prepared to sanction a £100 million move for him back in 2018. Oh, Varane is regarded as one of the best centre-halves in the world and he would exceed expectations in the Premier League and he'd complement Harry Maguire very, very well in our back line. You know, two players are incoming at Man United. At Manchester United, that's Tom Eaton, who is obviously a goalkeeper. And obviously Jadon Sancho is incoming. Solskjaer said just before the transfer window opened, he wants to make around four signings in order for Man United to challenge for the Premier League title next season. I'm convinced we can be up there next season if we recruit well in this summer transfer window. Solskjaer should now get the backing he deserves. Obviously reflects on what the board have recently said because the board came out and said that they'll back Solskjaer with a new three-year contract and summer signings despite the Europa League final loss. The other week Solskjaer had been given a 150 million transfer budget. This is Solskjaer's fifth transfer window as permanent Man United manager, but I'm expecting us to be very active in this transfer window. I'm also expecting teams around us to be active. Our transfer budget will increase because I'm expecting us to sell players in this summer transfer window. Next season is going to be massive for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and I think he is aware of that. So next season Solskjaer needs to win a trophy if he is to remain Manchester United manager. Because Ole has not yet won a trophy as Man United manager and we haven't won a trophy since 2017. That's four years ago now. That's nowhere near good enough to our standards. Next season will be Solskjaer's third full season because... At the moment, he's endured two full seasons. And Oli has been in charge of Manchester United now for almost 30 months. So that's over two years. Uh, there's obviously been Man United fans demanding Ollie out. 
Obviously, they've got their reasons behind why they want him out. Uh, there was more United fans demanding Ollie out after the Europa League final loss, but I presume there's still some Man United fans that are Ollie in and they believe that he needs more time at the club. I think he does deserve next season. But I can assure he isn't the long-term manager for Manchester United. I think he is our best manager though since Ferguson because in certain aspects, you know, he's brought consistency back. I've got to credit Solskjaer because I didn't expect him to do as well as he has done. You've got to say he's done a good job to say the current squad he was left with when he got appointed in as Man United manager because he was inheriting Deadwood and he's still inheriting some Deadwood now. You know, Ole has made good signings as Manchester United manager. So far, he's spent almost £300 million. And he's brought around 13, 14 players in. Um, he's got rid of a lot of the Deadwood as well since he's come in. Another thing I've got to credit Solskjaer for, when he got appointed in as Man United manager, he assured that everybody would get their chances to express themselves, including the young players, and more or less everybody has been given their chances. Um, Oli did well in his first full season, got us to three semi-finals and got us a third place finish. You know, did well in quite a lot of aspects in his second full season, got us a second place finish, so you can see that progress was made from his first full season. Got us to the FA Cup quarter-final, got us to the EFL Cup semi-final, got us to the Europa League final last season. I know we didn't win it, but he still got us to the final. That was his first major final as Man United manager. And last season, went the entire season without losing away from home in the Premier League, so that was a record. So there you go. Solskjaer knew when he'd taken over at Man United it was going to be a massive job, despite him knowing the club through thick and thin. But if we do eventually decide to sack Solskjaer, who's going to come in to replace him? You know, I think we need someone with a proven pedigree and someone who's going to suit the strappings of the club. Solskjaer is lucky to still be Man United manager. The reason he's still Man United manager is because he's a club legend. That's what's basically saved him. You know, disregarding being a club legend, legend I can almost assure I wouldn't have been Man United manager now. Uh, obviously, you know the news regarding David De Gea. Uh, David De Gea is convinced he will stay at Manchester United and be Solskjaer's number one next season. Obviously, he's our second choice keeper at the moment because last season we gave Dean Henderson that number one role. I don't want David De Gea to stay for next season. I think it would be the right decision to get rid of him because I reckon now he's had his years at Manchester United. He's enjoyed like 10 years at the club, De Gea, so he has been a long servant. A few years ago, he was regarded as the best goalkeeper in the world because he has won everything domestically at the football club and he's made over 500 appearances in all competitions. But in the last couple of years, he's been a liability because he's made too many mistakes. The other week, there was rumours of a... David De Gea and Jano Black swap deal, you know, to solve our number one crisis. De Gea's got like two years left on his current contract and he's on £375,000 a week. But last season it said that De Gea made his transfer decision. It said he's preparing to leave Man United and Man United will, would pay off his huge contract. If we was to sell De Gea in this summer transfer window, we'd want around £50 million. Pounds.
Um, is Paul Pogba going to stay at Manchester United for next season? He could do. You know, Sky Sports recently said that Man United opened talks with Paul Pogba's representatives over a new contract. But Pogba insists that he's not in contract negotiations with Manchester United. He recently said we fear losing Paul Pogba on a free transfer. We fear that he's running down his contract to leave on a three. Pogba's current contract expires next year because last season we triggered that one year extension on his contract. It said towards the end of last season that we'll offer Paul Pogba a new £400,000 a week contract, but it said he was demanding in the excess of £500,000 a week, and he said we'll sell Pogba if he doesn't sign a new contract. Solskjaer easily come out and said that he hopes Paul Pogba stays and signs a new contract at the club because he obviously knows how much of an imperative player he is. And it said as well Paul Pogba could leave Man United if Cristiano Ronaldo leaves Juventus. Juventus are interested in bringing Paul Pogba back from Man United, but in order to do that, they're going to have to sell Cristiano Ronaldo to afford Pogba. I think Cristiano Ronaldo is interested in coming back to Man United. Um, he's recently been in contact with Man United. He's been all... He's also been in contact with Real Madrid and PSG. Uh, not so long ago, the Glazers held talks with George Mendes regarding Cristiano Ronaldo's future when Solskjaer privately rates Cristiano Ronaldo as the best player he's ever played alongside. Earlier on this year, it said that Man United were in talks with Ronaldo over the sensational return and Ronaldo was in talks with Man United regarding a two-year contract. I presume all United fans would take Ronaldo back at the club, despite him being the age of 36. But Pogba, we've been getting the best out of him in recent months, you know, because he does bring creativity to the team. He's our most expensive signing at the moment because we paid £89 million for him and he has enjoyed five seasons at the football club since he rejoined. Minio Riola has obviously been desperate to get his client out of the football club. He was doing a lot of talking last season. If we sold Paul Pogba in this summer chance for Winder, I reckon we'd get from between 50 to 60 million pounds. There's no way we'd recruit the 89 million we paid for him back in 2016. The players I can see leaving Manchester United in this summer transfer window is Phil Jones. I think there's a good chance we'll loan Brandon Williams out. Um, I think we'll be looking to get rid of Delore permanently. Uh, we'll be looking to get rid of Andres Pereira permanently. I'm expecting us to offload Matic in this summer transfer window. I'm also expecting us to offload Donny van der Beek. Despite Donny van der Beek enjoying one full season at Man United. Donny van der Beek doesn't get enough opportunities at Man United. I recall him starting four games in the league last season. Most of his appearances came from the bench. He recently said Donny van der Beek was set to hold showdown talks with Solskjaer over his future and he recently got ruled out of the Euros through injury. I'm actually expecting us to offload Juan Mata. But he recently said that Juan Mata was in talks with Man United over an extension on his contract. His current contract expires at the end of this month. And I'm also expecting us to offload Anthony Martial as well. A lot of United fans want Martial to go because he's no longer good enough to represent the club. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you today. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.